Hi guys, welcome back. Today, let's review the iPhone 8 Plus. Well, I've been using this phone for 5 months and here are my thoughts. iPhone 8 Plus is one of the three flagship phones released by Apple in 2017. The pricing of iPhone 8 Plus in India is around 77,560 in Apple's official website. And for that price, you get a 64 GB variant. Now, you can get it way cheaper in Amazon and Flipkart, like around 66,000. iPhone 8 Plus is a really well-built phone. It's made of an aluminum frame with glass sandwiched in the front and back. Apple calls it the strongest glass ever put in a smartphone, but it's just a marketing gimmick. If you drop the phone, you'll probably break it. Now the front of the phone, it's made of a 5.5 inch Retina HD display and the resolution is 1920 by 1080p. So you get a 401 pixel per inch. Now it's an IPS LCD display, but still it's one of the best LCD displays available in the market. But if you compare it with an AMOLED one, the problem is you're not going to get the same contrast ratio, but still it's a really good display. Now when you talk about the display, in the front there are huge bezels and if that's a problem for you, you can skip this one and get the iPhone 10. But if that's fine, there is also a home button in the front. And the home button, it consists of the fingerprint scanner. And the fingerprint scanner in iPhone 8 Plus is really good. It's really fast and accurate. And there are two speakers in iPhone 8 Plus. One is a bottom firing one and the other one is an earpiece. Still, you don't get any headphone jack with the phone. iPhone 8 Plus is powered by Apple's A11 Bionic chip and it has 3 GB of RAM. Well, to be frank, the performance of the phone is really good. It's really fast, powerful and responsive. I haven't noticed much lag during my usage. The graphic performance of the phone is also good. Now, the phone, it's actually IP67 rated. So it means it is fully protected from dust and it can withstand being submerged in one meter of static water for up to 30 minutes. The phone has a 2691 mAh battery and you really get good battery life. With even heavy usage, you can get through a day easily. iPhone 8 Plus runs iOS 11 smoothly. You rarely notice any lag or slowdown. Now iOS 11 has whole new features and changes and some of them are document scanning in the Notes app, a redesigned app store, redesigned control center and the notification panel, new file system, etc. Now there is also an AR kit available with iOS 11. So there are a lot of AR apps available in the App Store and they are fun to play with. Now the only feature that you're going to miss with iPhone 8 Plus and iOS 11 is Animojis. Now Animojis are animated emojis and they are exclusive to iPhone 10. iPhone 8 Plus is a very big phone and it has some heft too. Now it's in my pocket right now and if I try to take it out, so you can see it's not that easy to take it out of the pocket. And the other problem is since it's a glass bag, it's, it's slippery too. So when you consider the ease of use or on day-to-day -day basis, it's really tough because it's a big phone, it's a hefty phone and it's slippery too. The camera system on iPhone 8 Plus is really good. On the rear, there are two 12 megapixel cameras. One is a wide angle lens with an f1.8 aperture and the other one is a telephoto lens with f2.8 aperture. Since there are two cameras, you get 2x optical zoom and 10x digital zoom. Now, the problem with the camera is that only the wide angle camera has optical image stabilization. The telephoto lens, it doesn't have any optical image stabilization. There is also a caught true tone flash near the camera system. Now, when you check the camera, you can see that it has a bit of hump in it. And if you lay it flat on the table, there are chances that it might get scratched. But the good thing is it's covered with a sapphire crystal. So the probability of getting it scratched is not there. Still, it's good to use a case with the phone. Both the cameras work with the software to create portrait shots and the portrait shots in iPhone 8 Plus it's kind of like hit and miss because sometimes you get great shots sometimes you don't. Now the best thing about the camera is not only its photos its videos are also great you can record 4k at 60 frames per second and even 1080 p slow motion video at 240 frames per second. The front facing camera of iPhone 8 Plus is a 7 megapixel camera and you can record video at 1080p. Well, the quality of front facing camera is good. It's not the best. But when you consider the camera system as a whole, considering the rear camera and the front camera, I think it is one of the best cameras available in the market right now. The speakers on the iPhone 8 Plus, they are really good. 
Now there is a bottom firing speaker and the earpiece, it's also a speaker. Now let's listen to an audio clip. I'm not sure how much the mic took this, but still, the speakers on the iPhone 8 Plus, they are really great. So to conclude, the question is, is the iPhone 8 Plus still worth buying? Well, the pricing, the iPhone 8 Plus is priced pretty high. But when you compare it with the price of iPhone 10, which is insanely priced, I think it's a good buy. Actually, it's a good iPhone to buy right now because you get a great camera system and the display, it's also one of the best. Even though it's not AMOLED, it's a good display. And there are good speakers, so if you combine the speakers and the display, it's a good media package. And the performance also is really great. But there are some shortcomings with this phone too, like the glass bag. It's fingerprinty and if you drop it, it's gonna break. Then the front, it's actually a bit dated, and also the heft. So if you can get over these kinds of drawbacks, I think it's a good phone to buy right now. So that's all for the video, guys. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and please do subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye.